The definition of myth is a wildly held but false belief or idea. As a registered dietitian, I deal with my fair share of debunking food myths. Today, I've invited fellow registered dietitian, Carissa Bielert, to help me reveal the facts behind three common yep. grocery store myths. So where are we gonna start? All right, we're gonna start with 100% fruit juice and the myth that it's just empty calories. Mm -hmm. Now think of it this way, that 100% fruit juice is just nutrition squeezed from whole fruit. That's right. Yeah, and that's why I love working with Welch's. Today I brought their 100% grape juice. It's made more Concord grapes, and it's a very convenient, nutritious, and delicious way to incorporate more fruit into a heart-healthy diet. So you're eating whole fruit, but adding in a four-ounce glass is gonna mm -hmm. be one serving of fruit with no added sugar. Fabulous, yes. love and we that. Also here, red wine is good for us, right? Right, of course. Okay, well there are decades of research that show that the beautiful deep purple Concord grapes in this Welch's can also support a healthy heart. Love that yes. too. And I'm good. always liking to bring you the latest and greatest. Yes. This is Welch's brand new farmer's pick. It is a wonderful line of 100% juices. We're getting kind of exotic mango, yep. Concord Ooh. grape, blackberry, nothing artificial. Ooh, blackberry. Yeah, and a great unfiltered fruity taste. Fabulous. Okay, yep. what's All right. the next myth? Myth number two, I think we bust this myth every single day. Uh -huh. It's that bread is bad for you, carbs are bad, and we shouldn't have them. Absolutely. Okay, <laughs> so the next thing, uh, you know, there's tons of myths about bread. Mm -hmm. So the trick is finding that better for you bread that's packed with whole grains. And whole grains, of course, are an essential source of nutrition and are full of antioxidants and vitamins and minerals. So I love to use Arnold whole grain bread because it's packed with whole grains and doesn't have the bad yeah. stuff like high fructose corn syrup, trans fat, or cholesterol. So sandwiches are a classic staple and a really nutritious way to incorporate whole grains into your kids' lunchbox, into your own lunchbox, whatever. Okay. So so you can get the sliced breads, you can get the sandwich thins, and most importantly, I know that they're getting the proper mm -hmm. nutrients when I'm doing this. So this is a strawberry almond butter finger sandwich that you can dip that. in a little bit of strawberry yogurt. Yeah. Kids love to dip. Okay, <laughs> it's made with Arnold's 100% whole wheat sliced bread variety, and I love this one because you get 44 grams of whole grains in two slices. So that's nearly the entire day's worth of recommended whole grains. Wow, that's really good bang for your buck. All right, the final myth is gonna have everyone running to their kitchen is that you can't lick the bowl and eat the dough when you make cookies. Tara, tell me you it's not can. true. <laughs> now here we are, dietitians yeah. encouraging people to eat the cookie dough. But as long as you are using mm -hmm. safe eggs, that is. So these are safe eggs. They're pasteurized in shell, so you can eat them raw yeah. or undercooked. And so, you know, salmonella is what we worry about with eggs. Four out of five cases of salmonella sickness are because of eating raw eggs, oh, okay? okay? So kids under four are four times more likely to get foodborne illness. So safe eggs are gonna be an excellent choice in all kinds of households. They're natural, they're hormone free, they're antibiotic free, they're kosher, wow. and they even have them in cage-free varieties as well. And of course they look, taste, and oh, cook yeah. like any that other egg. Amazing. So this is some cookie dough that we're gonna dig into. And I also made some cookie, you know, if this isn't bad yeah, enough, that's not enough, I dipped them in chocolate. So these are cookie dough truffles that you can find on the Safe Eggs website. And the way that you know about safe Mm -hmm. eggs is there's a little pea on the top of the egg so you can know that that is pasteurized and you know that you can eat that um, safely. All right? That's perfect. Well, thank you, Carissa, for joining us, and there's your food therapy for the day.